If you're looking for US listings to import into the TV portal add-on from Noobs and Nerds, then a great option, if you're after a free option, is the Zap2 XML program, which can be run in Windows. If you're after listings for other countries, then I highly recommend the MC2 XML program which I've already done a guide on so if you've not seen that and you're after listings for a country other than US then I would highly recommend watching that one as well but this is based for US uh, folks so what you need to do is just do a Google search for zap to XML and uh, it should be the first link there at award space and it's a very simple website just like the MC2 XML one is, it's got full instructions there of how to use, um, and that's it really. And it's got a download link there. So, I mean, the first thing you're going to need to do is register on Zap2 XML, uh, Zap2it.com. Okay, so you can register there to get your listings. It's free to register. Um, optionally, you can also uh, sign up at TVGuide.com if you want. Personally I found um, I found the zap to it.com one's perfect so um, no need for the TV guide one for myself but uh, once you register you need to set your preferences so go in here and what you need to do is just set your location so if you've not already set the location you just put your zip code in there and then you choose which provider you want to choose, you know, which one you want to use for grabbing the listings. So that's entirely your call, whichever one you want. So you just click on whichever one. And the good thing about this is you can even see on the website what's on. So you can look at the grid on the actual website itself, which is quite useful. OK, so let's go back to the Zap2XML website. And we just need to download the file. So as I say, we're doing it on Windows. So we'll go with that one there. And we choose to keep that. And again, just like with the MC2 XML one, you may get some false positives about it possibly being some sort of malware um, or something like that. I've not had any issues at all. and. Um, have it on good advice from the development team that that's just a false positive from Windows Windows being overly cautious um, if you've got Windows Defender running you may have to take it out of quarantine and um, and just say it's okay to run so anyway let's uh, let's open this up so we've got zap to XML there now this one we just need to extract so we will throw that in um, let's create a folder called zap to XML I mean that's optional you don't have to but I like it to be a little organized okay so we've got our zap to XML there now what you're going to find is if you double click on that not a lot happens as you can see we've just got a window flashing and there's nothing happening now the reason for that is because we've not read the instructions so close that go back to that web page and it's actually quite simple go back up to the top now we're using zap to it.com so all we need to do is copy this line here just there okay so we right click copy let's go back to that folder that we've got and we want to create a new text document so just right click somewhere new text document and we're going to call this run I mean you can call it whatever you like but it needs to end in dot bat because we need this to be a batch file uh, executable file that is uh, with just a quick command line in it if you don't have the option to see file extensions then head on into the organized section up there folder and search options view and you'll find down here 
that one there just make sure that's unticked hide hide extensions for known file types and you'll be able to change it to dot bat okay if you can't see file extensions you'll end up with a problem because uh, you'll save it as run.bat but it'll probably save .txt on the end so it won't actually be executable so you have to do it that way you have to be able to see uh, extensions okay so I'm going to open that in a text editor uh, text editor of my choice is notepad++ and all we got to do in here is paste and we need to change the email so the email that we signed up with we just put that in there and the password that we used we put in there um, you can see we've got slash u that just means username is that or email address uh, slash p is the password and we do need to put a couple more uh, parameters on on the end there so let's just have a quick look at that website again and you can see um, so this is the optional one if you want to use tvguide.com you can and you would do Z so you use the Z parameter um, we're not using that so we don't need that but what we do need is uh, we are going to need the the uh, U that one there uh, because we want we want it all nice and clean uh, we don't want characters in there that are going to cause issues which can happen if you don't use that so we put that one in so it was a U and we also need now this one it again is an important one uh, it's actually a very important one we want the option to um, now where is it sorry I think it's there we go F that one there output channel names first okay so that means we'll end up with the channel name um, as opposed to the channel number okay um, they actually say number name there but I think what they actually mean is the channel number so uh, if you end up with the channel number first a it looks messy B you're more than likely end up with lots of duplicate channels and it's not nice so make sure that you've got that one in there as well so we just go back and we do the F parameter as well so that looks good um, I'm just gonna pause that now and put my real details in so that's my details entered and uh, now we can just double click the run dot bat and we should hopefully find that here we go it starts to run and we should find that we've got a whole load of channels um, there you go so basically it's on 3 of 28 4 of 28 that's 28 pages um, in that website that I mentioned if we go back in there uh, there is in your I believe it's in the preferences area you can set it to yeah the six hour grid so if you choose that you end up getting half the amount of uh, page requests which is uh, which is a good thing it goes a little bit quicker because um, normally by default I think it does a three hour grid so it's twice as many pages so you're still getting the same amount of listings it's just um, yeah it's just doing it quicker so I'll just pause that for a moment okay we're almost there and uh, as you can see it's nice and quick but it does depend on your internet speed and your, the time of day how busy the servers are etc but that is a lot of listings we've grabbed there so we you know we'll be able to see in a moment just how many uh, 27,042 programs I believe that said so let's uh, go back in here and you can see there we've got our XML TV file we can open that and you can see we've got the channels they don't have this stupid uh, number before so that's not going to cause us a problem uh, you can see that the number is there um, in these these bits but that's we're not worried about that it's it's the top one it's the top one that, that we actually uh, we want to find out about um, so yeah yeah you've, you've got everything in there and then you can then import that into the uh, noobs and nerds add-on TV portal for Cody and uh, you can start mapping all your channels okay make sure you uh, 
watched the guide on how to import and use the TV portal. Thanks for watching.